hey guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great so today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make this copper clothing rack from scratch and it was pretty easy to do so i'm going to show you guys how to in this video So these are the supplies you're going to need. I bought three copper pipes, 10 foot, 10 foot long each. I also bought some epoxy, some copper caps to put on the base. These ended up being too small. I bought a pipe cutter, six elbow pieces, and six T connectors. So let's get started. So depending on however long or wide you want your copper rack, you are going to modify these measurements, but basically this is what I did. I basically cut them into two five foot long pieces, three four foot pieces, four two inch pieces, and four five inch pieces. And so using the pipe cutter is pretty easy. You just secure it around the pipe and basically just keep turning it back and forth or all the way around until it eventually cuts it. Um, it was kind of hard to do at first, but once you get the hang of it, it is really easy. So the hard part was basically just cutting it, and these are the pieces at the end of the day when I'm done. So basically what you want to do, it's pretty easy. Um, you basically want to pour epoxy into the connection points and attach the connection points to the copper pipes so i started off with the basic frame so i started off with the top portion where the clothes are going to hang i connected the two parts to there and then i went on to the rest of the body it's pretty self-explanatory when you look at the rack you basically know what you want to do you do want to work pretty quickly with this and also um, protect your work area if it gets on the floor or any part you don't want quickly wipe it up with some rubbing alcohol just so that you don't ruin your floors or anything especially if you're renting so that was it for the top portion for the bottom portion this part is pretty easy as well but i will explain how i did it for you guys so basically you take a middle piece and you take two of those two inch long pieces and you attach it to the T portion and then you take two more T pieces and attach it to those ends. So that's basically how you want it to look when you're done. So you can go ahead and do the other one exactly like that. Now the last part to these two leg pieces is you attach those two four inch long pieces to the end of those and then you would attach the elbow pieces to the end of those. Pretty easy. And so when you stand them up on the little elbow pieces, you can see like what they're supposed to look like. So when you're done putting those together, you just attach them to the bottom. You actually don't have to do the shoe rack at the bottom, but it is good for stabilizing the whole rack. So the last thing I did was just put some epoxy in those T pieces over there. And I just attached the two little shoe rack pieces to that. And it was pretty easy. That's pretty much how it's done. Like I said, simple, easy. I think the longest part of this project is really just cutting the pipes. But other than that, it took about you know 20 minutes. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Make sure to leave any questions that you have in the comment section down below, and I'll make sure to get to them and get back to you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other DIY ideas that you would like me to try out and show you guys, or just any suggestions at all, make sure to leave them down in the comment section as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. God bless and bye-bye.